Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's new makeup releases where I'm gonna chat about the new makeup that's been released, announced and sneak peeked and I'm gonna let you know what I think about these things, if there's anything that I wanna pick up and then you let me know down in the comments how you feel about these things. And it's okay if we disagree, it is totally fine if you hate something I love and vice versa, we're all friends, we're all adults, okay? Let's, let's keep it cool. And also don't forget to subscribe before you leave because I do upload quite a lot of videos every week all about makeup and beauty and there's actually another video coming today and I'll talk about that as well in this video. I did film this look. I just filmed it for uh, Instagram. I'm gonna put it up here as a short as well. I try to put my like mini videos wherever I can. It is with the Wheat Belt palette by uh, Geology Cosmetics. I just filmed a little fun one. I really like this one. I think it looks super cute. So I will put in the pin comment what I have on my face right now, if I can remember all of it, because I actually didn't take notes this time, but check the pin comment to see what I have on my face. And also check the description box to see info about all the things that I'm talking about today. If you want to see some links, if you want to see if I have any discount codes or anything like that, it's all in the description box. So there's actually... There's a couple of things this week that I am very, very intrigued by, and then there are some... No. <laughs> no, we're not getting that. Let me scoochie scoochie. So that I can pop up some pictures here on the side of the things that we are going to be talking about. Let's start talking about the thing that I am like. When I saw it, I was like, ooh. And that is the new collection by Nabla Cosmetics. This is the Wildflower collection. And this is the continuation of their very, very popular palette that was the Nightflower collection, which I have said is my very favorite palette from Lethal Cosmetics. I think the palette is beautiful. The quality is great. The color combos are amazing. I love wearing that palette. And they're also restocking that palette as they are releasing this Wildflower collection. And I am super, super intrigued by that. If you're living in Europe, you can buy these from Lethal Cosmetics, but if you're living in the US, they also do ship from Camera Ready Cosmetics. I will link that down below. And in this, there's actually a collection this time. So it is a similar theme as the Nightflower one, but there's like, of course, different shades, but they're meant to be used either on their own or together as like a continuation of the theme. But this is actually a collection. There are four of the, what do they call these lip, lip creams? They're like a blurring lip cream. They're very beautiful. You can apply them sheer, you can apply them a lot. They're very comfortable and lightweight on the lips and they're a very nice formula and they're coming out with some new shades and they look very cute. Plus something that I mentioned, when did I mention this? I'm not 100% sure where I talked about this, but I do know that in a fairly recent video, or maybe it was a video that I pre-filmed because I did pre-film a bit because I'm actually going away in a couple of weeks, I talked about their uh, shimmery blush formula and how I'm dying to have more shades because it's such a wonderful formula and they're coming out with four new shades and one of them is a yellow. So it is a yellow, a purple, a bright pink and a more like pinkish like raspberry red. I am extremely intrigued. I love a warm cheek. I love a yellowy blush. You remember I tried that yellowy blush on Monday, which was just not a good formula slash undertone to be used on its own, at least not on me. I, I didn't love the formula and I didn't love the consistency and like the undertone of it. But when you get a yellow blush right, you get it right. And one of my favorite yellow blushes is actually from Lethal Cosmetics, but it is a matte formula. So I'm just really, really hoping that they were able to get the same great undertone of a yellow blush, but in the shimmery formula. That shimmery blush formula is wonderful. It was in my yearly favorites of 2022 and I'm just super excited to see them come out with more shades and I, since this is coming my way and they did tell me that they're sending me the entire collection, I am planning to film a dedicated video trying and swatching this out as soon as I have my grubby little hands on it. The second thing that I am very excited about is actually something that's out for delivery. So I don't have it right now, but if I'm able to film like a reel or something swatching them because uh, they are heading my way, I will put that up here on the side. Otherwise, I'll just put a still picture and you check back on either my shorts here on YouTube or check back on reels on Instagram or like TikTok because these are the new multi-chromes by Colourpop. I did talk about these in ooh, Wednesday's video. Am I getting the days mixed up? I hope not. I'm trying to think because this week I'm actually having five videos. So I had 
Colourpop on Wednesday, I had Sephora haul yesterday and I'm having a video today plus I'm having a bonus video later today and we'll talk about that next and I also had a trying makeup that I totally forgot about, bought it and forgot it and a q and I had that on Tuesday. But in Wednesday's video I went through and I showed you these multichromes from Colourpop and I said it is not a bad formula but it is a very sheer formula. So these need to be layered on top of something, even the ones that are a little bit more darker and I want to see if these new shades that are not part of the Legends of Korra collection, if those are the same kind of a formula or not. Because some of them are a little lighter and I'm excited to see if you can use those as a light topper shade. I am normally not the person that reaches for a dark multi-chrome. I think it's beautiful and every now and then I'm craving it, but most of the time I like a lighter one or a topper one. That's just my personal preference and how I like to wear my makeup. So I'm intrigued to see how these are. Again, it is out for delivery, so I'm getting that package today and I will create something short form content. And as soon as I have it, I will link it in the description box. So check the description box if nothing popped up here, but I will put it in the description box either way if you want to see it maybe a little bit more uh, up close. Let's talk then about, I don't have the picture here, but let's talk about because Ace Beauté did show a sneak sneak peek of palettes that are being revealed today. This is the floral collection and they are launching four new palettes and they're launching on, I think it is the 24th that they're launching. Am I saying this incorrectly? Hold. Okay, I'm looking at... Okay, I'm looking at their mail right now. Yes, the 24th, they're launching at the Ace Beauté website. I do have a code with Ace Beauté. You can use the code and Jessica to get 10% off. These are being revealed today at lunchtime, my time. So if you're watching this after lunchtime, this video is already live and you can go check it uh, here on my channel. And when it's live, I will also put that one in the description box. I am very intrigued. I actually put, I love Ace Bute. I love Ace Bute's formula. I think they have a very, very solid formula. And I was just super intrigued to see new palettes from them. So I actually have put quite a lot of work into this video. I have made one full look, like both eyes, with each of these palettes. So there's going to be literally a, a four eyeshadow tutorial video coming later today. So if you're interested in getting some more info, or if you're interested in these palettes, of course, there are going to be swatches. Those are coming later today. But as I'm filming this, they have only revealed the outside of the palette. They haven't revealed the inside, but of course, I know what the inside looks like and they're cute. Let's talk about this one. How many times have I said that I'm wishing that the House Labs crayons would come in more colors and more like nudie brown colors? It's like Lady Gaga heard me. We have some telekinesis thing going on and she was like, oh, you want more browns? Here you go. So they are expanding the lip crayons with four more shades and they're all like nudie shades, darker, lighter, some more pinky leaning and some that's called, I think one's called honey and it's that like honey beige and I am dying to get that one. I, Im I ran. I ran to my computer and I checked on Sephora to see if they're available because Sephora is still having their sale. I will have my Sephora affiliate link down below as well if you haven't shopped the sale or if maybe you are interested in shopping the sale. Like I said, my haul was live yesterday in case you want to see what I bought during the Sephora sale. But I was like, oh, I am definitely getting these as well. I was a million percent sure that I was going to pick these up, but they're not available yet. But I will pick up at least one, maybe two, maybe more of these colors immediately when they become live because this is one of my favorite lip formulas in my collection and I have been dying to get some more nudie options. So I'm definitely getting these. I cannot recommend this formula enough. It is a stunning formula. I'm gonna have to censor this one again, but we all know that this is a PP, okay? We all know that. Isamaya Beauty is coming up with another shade of the sheer lipstick balms. This one is in Flamingo and I, if you want to see what it looks like, you can just go to Instagram or look or go to her um, website. But I don't want to be demonetized, but this, this is this is a male reproductive organ lipstick. And uh, I'm not a prude, and you know this, I'm not a prude, I don't care. I, I believe in like, do whatever you want, because I do whatever I want. And if you want to pull this out of your lipstick when you're at Walmart, I 100% support that. I'm not that girl. I don't want to pay, I think it's like $100 for this. Uh, I love me a sheer lipstick. I actually lip swatched all of the Nabla sheer lipsticks and the formula is fan fantastic. So if you're looking for one of those glowy, glossy lipsticks, definitely recommend those. They're so beautiful. 
and the shades are wonderful i'm so excited i was able to swatch all of those i hope they're coming to i hope they're coming to ulta soon i'm actually wearing one of the matte lipsticks from labla today also a really beautiful formula i'm hoping to have lip swatches of these up as well probably today this one is in peach deal super beautiful formula those are a little, a little bit more on the accessible side compared to a hundred dollar one but if you're like if you if you are the kind of person that thinks that this is hilarious or think that this is super edgy or something that you want to have then i'm happy that this exists for you but for me i'm just like no that's a pass. You know what? I'm surprised that we haven't seen her first collection that came out. It had almost like what looked like a piercing in her mascara. Maybe that's going to be her Halloween re release where she's going to have one of these lipsticks with the piercing through. Like a Prince... Is it Prince Albert? Like I said, I'm not I'm not a prude. <laughs> I know these things. I'm, 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 I'm thinking that maybe holiday release 2023. Is Amaya? Do you need, do you need a new creative director? <laughs> Call me. People were going crazy about these new blushes from Armani Beauty. Uh, these are available at the Sephora sale. I will link them down below in case you want to get some money off. You can at least get 10% off if this was something that you were eyeing. I will say, I think the colors look beautiful, but there are five matte blushes and one shimmery blushes. At least the ones that are available at Sephora. And if I'm getting a new blush right now, I'm going to get a shimmery one. And also I'm getting four shimmery blushes from Lethal. So the last thing I need is a blush whatsoever so i don't think that this will be for me but if they were to have another shimmery blush that is not that because it's that like pinky soft pink petal pink kind of a shade if they were to have a shimmery blush that's not a pink i might have been open for suggestions but i don't need a new matte blush i don't need anything but i definitely don't need a matte blush i saw this one and i was like having a deja vu moment this is kyla cosmetics she's coming out with bullet lipsticks and i am very sure like i would be able to bet some money on the fact that she has had bullet lipsticks from before right so these are 24 shades i'm guessing she is re really oh yeah she had to yeah she had to get rid of everything of course because she sold her brand to cody right so I'm guessing they're just re-releasing with new formulas then to not be like sued by Colourpop again. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I don't know. I love a bullet lipstick. I'm not against it. Um, I tried the liquid lipsticks and I thought they were good for being a, a, like a dry down liquid lipstick. Not like amazing, but I also don't love a dry down liquid lipsticks nine times out of ten. I could be down for trying it if she has some cute shades. None of the ones I'm seeing here are really my style, but... I also don't think that me and Kylie Jenner really have the same makeup style. This made me laugh. Because this... Okay. Let's, let's have a bingo. Let's have a bingo and just see how many YouTubers are we going to see that are going to do these kind of new makeup releases or will I buy it. They are going to mention these lipsticks from Musia Beauty as new just because Trend Mood now found them. These lipsticks aren't new. If you've been on my channel, you know that they actually sent these to me and I tried them out in the beginning of this year, but they weren't even new when they were sent to me. These were released in the beginning of last year so these are over a year old but for one reason or another they are now popping up on trend mood maybe someone sent them to trend mood maybe she found them maybe she wants to show them i have no idea these aren't new uh, they have been around for a really long time they're a really nice formula i really love the packaging it's a very cool soft matte touch packaging the packaging is luxe and the lipsticks is a really good formula i wish the lipsticks had a little bit of an almost like a sweet or a vanilla scent because they are a more of a typical lipstick scent and the colors are very classic colors and i wish that she would add one or two colors that are a little bit more out there but overall this is a very cool release and a very cool like brand it just isn't new but let's put a pin in every time a youtuber is going to mention these as new just because they popped up on trend mood now how many do you think we're gonna see i'm guessing that i'm gonna see at least five so i'm thinking i'm gonna get bingo and this is not me shading anyone this is not me saying like oh my god i'm so much better at makeup news than anyone else it's not that it's just that it does take quite a lot of research to do makeup news uh, if you're not just 
reading of, of trend mood. And I also will say I'm not perfect. I made a lot of mistakes on reporting stuff that definitely isn't new. But this just happened to be one of those that I know isn't new. I cannot wait to try this one. This one is available in Europe now. And this is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. We have talked about this before, but it is available in Europe. And that usually means that it's coming here soon. I mean, Maybelline, it says Maybelline New York, but Maybelline is owned by L'Oreal and L'Oreal is most definitely a French brand. So I'm not surprised that some of these things launch in Europe first, but this is a 24 hour skin tint with vitamin C. It is $13. It brightens and delivers a skin like sheer coverage for natural radiant finish. I am very intrigued to see why this, what this is because it does say natural radiant finish, but it also says 24 hours and a skin tint that says 24 hours sounds like something I will enjoy. I have been dying over the oh I moved it the new um Too Faced skin tint I've been wearing it so much it is so pretty it dries down matte and I actually really really like it it's it's just been a great thing for me so I was hoping to find something from the drugstore that's maybe as good so I cannot wait to try this one out Shantikai has come out with a I think this is their summer collection this is the Cosmos collection and I'm loving the packaging of this and I also really like the lip colors that are coming in this so this is a real bronze and a real glow it is a highlighter and a gel powder bronzer and then there are lip cheeks which is one of those glowy lipsticks and it is in Ceylon and Freesia and I I am so like the the bronzer looks beautiful that blue packaging it's so pretty but I can't buy an $84 bronzer and also it comes in one color which kind of shows who Shantikai is marketing towards. It is the, it is the white woman that shops in department stores. That's the Shantikai customer. These were revealed just after I did my episode last week and I talked about those duos that are coming from Benefit, but Benefit is actually revealing that they're coming up with a new product as well. And this is the Butter Balm. These look cute. These are the Suns Up Butter Balm, hydrates, conditions, and nourishes lips for 12 hours, fills buttery soft, leaves lips with the glossy colors. It comes in four different shades. They're meant to match the duos, but of course these are like balms, so they're a little sheer. You can probably get away with any color and any skin tone. It is a bronze, a poppy, a coral, and a, a more mauve shade. And I like the bronze one. I feel like the poppy one is cute too. Depends on how sheer it is, because I would love like a sheer poppy shade shade like that. I think that this is one of those, yeah, I'm looking at the, sh like the swatches and they look very sheer. This is one of those things that I really don't need and I'm not in the market to like review, but I want to see this in store. When is it coming? It's already available in Europe and I'm like, I kind of want to see how this is. So when I see this, like that this is available in store in Sephora here in, in the US, I will definitely go and have a peek at it because I think I might like it. We did mention these a while ago and they are available now. And these are the new Sephora Colorful Face Powders. And they seem really, really pretty. If I make another Sephora order, which I think I will because I wanna get those uh, house labs um, beautiful lipsticks. I probably will end up picking up one of these blushes as well because they seem to have some shimmery options if I'm not totally mistaken. So I will look into that. If, if, if indeed they do have shimmery options, I will end up picking up one of these shimmery blushes from Sephora and see what I think about the formula because a shimmery blush, it can be sometimes the right formula does everything. Let's just put it like that. The right formula can be the difference between a glowy cheek and a very like textured cheek. And I'm intrigued to see how that one is going to look because sometimes also a glowy cheek, if it's a little bit too of a heavy formula, it only really looks good on the cheekbones. It doesn't look good on this area that moves a lot. It, it can end up looking a little heavy. So I'm intrigued to see what that formula is all about. Okay, let's also talk, because I did talk about this last week or the week before, and the new collections by Davina, there are two different shimmer, like, 
shimmer shadow collections i will put some info in the description box if you're interested in some glowy like multi-chrome du duochrome single shadows from an indie brand i love davina i love the owner of davina i have worked with davina before and i do know that she sent this out to a couple of youtubers because i've seen on her stories that she have been sharing people that have been doing like a full swatch video of these so if you're interested in seeing these in action you can either go to the davina instagram and see some close-ups of the swatches or you can search for it here on youtube because i did see some smaller youtubers had some swatch videos of these because they look really 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 pretty you know that as of late i have been leaning more towards like the pre-made palettes but if you're into singles these do look really cute this is a new viva shine from kasha beauty this is a new trio that's available at sephora this isn't something for me because for me I love a highlighter, but if I'm gonna have a trio of something, I don't want it to be a trio of highlighters. I wouldn't mind if it's a trio of, I if it's gonna be three of something, I want it to be at least a little bit different. And this just seems to be three different formulas of highlight. I don't think that that is for me. And when I look at the swatches, I'm also like, I don't think that's for me. Again, if I was able to see this in store and swatch it, I might change my mind because I am still very much in love with highlighters. I know some people are over highlighters, but not this girl. I am still very much into highlighters. This one is available now and it's $28. I just... I don't know, because the one one of the formulas is a, a bouncy crystal glitter in assorted sizes and shapes, and that makes me think press glitter? But it doesn't really look like that. I feel like it's one of those that I like. I need to see the review or I need to see it in real life. You know, I recently did a video where I was trying out Moira just to see if they're like worth the hype that they're getting online. And overall, I really did get along with most of their products and now they are dropping some lip oils. These are dropping on April the 20th. They're gonna be 750 each. They look really, really pretty. None of the shades is like really drawing me in. And I'm still in the process of like using and reviewing the lip oils that I got from Blend Body Cosmetics. So I don't think I will be making a separate order to order these, even though I think they look really pretty. But if I am to order something else from Moira in the future, I definitely could see myself adding one of these into my collection. I also have Moira at my local HEB, which is the grocery store here in Texas that we shop at. And if these come to HEB, I could definitely see myself buying one there. This is fun news for some people that might have been very into the Fenty fragrance, because Fenty, the fragrance, the other uh, parfum, is about to drop in a trap size that fragrance is very expensive and i have smelled it in store and it's not for me it's not for me it feels a little heavy and it has a bit too much of like heavy florals to be my kind of a perfume it's not I don't, I wouldn't say you know sometimes you smell perfumes and you're like who on earth wants to smell like this Listen, it's happened to me. I'm sure it's happened to you. I don't feel like that when I smell the Fenty perfume. I can definitely see who would smell this and be like, oh my God, yes, definitely. I'm just not that person. So for me, this isn't great news, but I think that some people will be super excited to be able to get the Fenty perfume in just a smaller size to try out. It is going to be $39, and this is a Magnolia Musk Bulgarian Rose, Blueberry, Vanilla, Coconut, Geranium, and Patchouli. A lot of flowers, a lot of heaviness. Not my favorite kind of perfume but I understand who it's for. I've also seen some news. Let me see if I can put on something here. BH Cosmetics has released some new things on their website. You probably cannot see all of it here, but I will link down below where you'll be able to find it. I'm not 100% sure if it's available on the Revolution website as well. It might be, but they've released some mascaras, some brow products, some eyeliners. It seems like they're just releasing some more, some maybe smart releases to have some kind of a product in the range that people would repurchase especially if they're affordable and they're easy to get a hold of i next um okay i'm not making sense next time i make an order from bh cosmetics next time they release something that i want to make like a dedicated video on because this isn't what i make dedicated videos on if they release an eyeshadow palette i will for sure be trying out eyeliners mascaras and brow products as well i just won't make a dedicated like order to buy that but i am intrigued to try it in the future this is definitely going on my wish list you know my big big love for bh cosmetics it's one of my favorite affordable brands and i cannot wait to try this next time they release a palette then i'm gonna buy this too and i hope i love it last thing i'm gonna mention is something that i actually 
think are gonna be really cute and this is from Givenchy and this is the uh, Le Rouge Inter the Balm de new shades there are a sheer black shade that I am guessing is gonna look just like a <sighs> like a cool smoky light sheer purple on the lips which is usually very very flattering if you want something that's sheer but cool tone because I know a lot of sheer lipsticks are usually red pink you know something that's a little bit more on the warm side and if you're looking for a sheer lipstick that's totally different I know that they have like a sheer lip balm in a gloss as well that's also that sheer smoky purple really beautiful I actually have it it's really beautiful and I'm guessing this balm is going to be the same I mean it's 34 euros um, I'm not 100% sure if it's available in the US yet so it's of course very expensive but I do think that if you're looking for something luxe Givenchy makes really really nice lip products I don't know if they're like worth the price if you're not the person that first of all if you think that 34 is too much for lip product then it's not for you don't be spending money on stuff that you if you're not into luxury stuff it's not that great nothing is that great but if you're into luxury stuff or if you're into high-end stuff and you want to get something different I will say that Givenchy does really nice sheer like smoky shades and I'm sure that this lip balm is going to be the same yeah it says that it is available now in uh, Europe I'm sure it's coming to the US soon again this is one of those things if I saw it in store and it swatched beautifully I could be convinced but I'm definitely not like going out of my way to try and get it okay let me see if I can find anything new and uh, nope nothing here and nothing here okay I don't know I think this episode was a little bit shorter and I honestly think that in the future, these Friday videos will be a little bit shorter unless there is like a bunch, a bunch of things to talk about because these videos do take me two work days to uh, complete with like filming and editing and uploading and thumbnails and research and all of that. And this used to be like the only video that really help me with paying rent. That isn't really the case anymore. And for that reason, since this video isn't doing as good as it used to not view wise but like in the youtube sphere wise and also because other videos are getting equal amount of views it makes no sense for me to put five times as much work into this video than i do into other videos when there are like other videos that might need some more love so i'm gonna try and just spread the love a little bit and we'll see what happens everything is a trial period if i don't like it i'll go back to it if i like I'm just trying out new things. I'm just trying out new things. And I would love to hear your thoughts about it as well down in the comments. Again, I will never stop doing these. I think I'm saying never now, but like never say never. But I won't stop doing these. And I definitely will not stop reporting on the things I think are interesting. But I might keep them a little shorter and sweeter. And I might not elaborate as much on some things. Just to keep the workload off. Because... I like having time to sleep, watch Netflix, and play video games too. I know you understand. I'm just trying to explain. Again, check the description box for more info or the pinned comment if you're interested in these things. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you. Well, I will see you later today for the video about Ace Butte, and I'm so excited to show you what they look like.